Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Startopia. So, this is an ancient game. I'm actually not sure how old it is. I'm gonna say, like, late 90s, early 2000s, somewhere in there. Uh, but, you know, by as far as the, the uh, video game industry is concerned, it is pretty old. And it's actually one of the... I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm gonna say the more... Uh, referred to? One of the more referred to management sim type games. Uh, you know, of bygone era uh whenever people are talking about management sims and you know it's something that people talk about every once in a while about like you know getting a revival but i've never heard of anything in relation to this so i don't think that's gonna happen which probably a bit of a shame i don't know anyway i've never played it before i know almost i know nothing about this i know there's aliens you're i think running a star base and uh, i've yeah that's it but uh i don't know i'm kind of excited to get get into it but also before we begin I would like to thank uh, Funny Man for sponsoring this series. He kindly donated quite a fair bit of money, and as such, I'm going to be playing the shit out of this game. Uh, which, I'm liking this music, so hopefully I'm gonna like the game. Let's start with missions so I can figure out what the heck I'm doing. Uh, then we'll go from there. Building and beaming. Uh, show user missions. Oh, I can download missions too. Well, that's... I'm gonna say concerning, but still. Ooh, these textures. Oh, this text size. This is 1080p. It is tiny. Anyway, welcome. Please, here. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna lean forward a little bit. I'll bring the mic with me. Welcome. Please be sure to follow these instructions carefully. If at any time you feel lost or have managed to break this fragile tutorial, please return to the game avatar by pressing the escape key and reload the mission. Right click on this panel to dismiss it. Gotcha. You interact with the world via your cursor. The right mouse button is normally used to open and close interfaces. The left mouse button is used to interact with objects, menu buttons, and buttons. Menu options and buttons. Right click on this panel to dismiss it. You should first become familiar with the game camera controls. The camera can move almost anywhere within the station and can look in any direction. It can change the height. The okay, we got this. Scrolling. Use the cursor key. Oh, shoot. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped past that. Anyway. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's go back. Let's, uh, quit mission, start over, catch back up to where we were. I was reading ahead. Yes, I want to leave this game. Okay. What is this going to do for me? Okay, nothing. I skipped ahead. I would like to know how to move the camera, but I was like, you know, it's just telling me the concept of this thing. And then it tells me the controls at the end. I'm not, I'm not used to old, old school game design here. Okay, right click, right click. Okay, camera controls. Wait, no, it didn't tell me at all. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Scrolling, uh, mouse cursor, edge of the screen. Okay, so this is, oh, this is weird. Okay, so that's how we can scroll around. Uh, change the height, mouse, w okay. And looking around. Middle mouse or right control. Might be easier if I did right control, honestly. Anyway, keeping these held down. Gotcha. Okay, take some time to get used to the controls. Right click to continue. These are crates. Almost all inanimate objects, such as crates, can be beamed onto your pattern buffer. Place the cursor over a crate and left click. To beam the topmost item of your pattern buffer down, place the cursor over an empty area and left click. Okay. Click here with the mouse button to activate this message. This is a test message. Left click on the green check to confirm you've read the message and delete it. Right click anywhere to minimize it. Okay, got it. Do you wish to move to the next lesson? Yes. Alright, well that was easy enough. This is a scuzzer crate. It contains a scuzzer droid. To open this crate, right click it. Okay, to activate the scuzzer within, left click and unpack cargo. The scuzzer is now active and ready to work. Right click here to continue. This is a hard plan crate. Contains the blueprint for a facility. In this case, the energy collider. Right click on the crate. Okay. Blueprint for the collector is now at your cursor. Can, oh god. Uh, you can move it around the floor of the station. When in a valid build location, it will be blue. If any part of it is illegally placed, it will turn dark red. Red dots or red blocks show which part of the... Oh, I see. So, anything, anything bright red. Okay, yeah, that's easy enough. To rotate this room, hold down the left mouse button. 
and move the cursor in any direction I see so I can rotate it around freely. Oops. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could press something else. Anyway, let's, um... Okay. Oops. We don't want to do this. We'll put it here, just because. Okay, so there's an accept decline thing. And the Scuzzer Droid will build it. Cool! Let's see. So, I think this game is on both Good Old Games and Steam. I personally bought it on Good Old Games just because uh, their customer service is a little bit better, so if things break, I trust them to help me solve it, whereas Steam is kind of just like, well, you want your money back? Oh, wait, you played the game for two hours. Never mind then. Uh, not to mention, I actually like Good Old Games as a service a little bit better than Steam. They just don't have the sheer number of products, so that's a little bit harder. That's actually some, like, really good texturing. Like, it does not look bad. It's a little bit low res. But, like, you get in here and this looks pretty nice. Very, I guess, quake doomy, but ish? I don't know. Hard to explain. Okay, so now what? Now what am I supposed to do? Energy collector, gotcha. Let's check messages. Congrats, you've completed the first tutorial. Like, click, go to the next mission. Okay, so we've we've succeeded at placing a building. You are a winner! <laughs> uh, next level. Okay, advanced building and aliens. So I think the first episode is just going to be me learning the game. This is not going to be very exciting. Okay, basics of placing furniture and equipment. This crate contains a bench. Open and... Put it somewhere. Blueprint for the... Bench is now at your cursor, moving it around the same fashion as the room, right to furniture. Okay. Place it down wherever. You know what? I'm gonna just put it over here. Experiment with beaming, beaming furniture up and placing it down in different locations. You'll notice two left clicks are required to beam furniture down. The first places the blueprint, then you can move from your orient. The second actually beams it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we've got that down. So, birth hard plan. A variable room size that you can adjust. Single, cor single corner of the room is displayed. Okay. Find an area of open space on the deck and click and drag. Oh, I see. You can. We can now drag it out and stuff. Gotcha. Well, apparently we can't conflict, so let's just do this. Okay, you can now pick a blueprint, move it around by clicking left on the center. Okay, find a nice spot for the birth. Uh, you know what? I kind of like having it like over here. Plus, we can always, I believe, rotate the camera around to make everything work. Okay, you can resize a blueprint by left clicking on one of its corners or an edge and moving the cursor. Okay. Okay, so we can read. Okay, let's uh, let's confirm this. Okay, adding furniture. Choose an item from the build menu with left click. Doors must be placed next to walls. Items can be rotated. Okay, so we want a door. We want a slumber pod. Oh, I see. So slumber pod has to be rotated. Yeah, let's rotate it here. Chronometer, image projector, and ultra lamp. Okay. Door in at least one slumber pod. No, you know what? This place is a veritable slumber party. There is nothing but slumber par pods in this thing. And I guess at least one other, I don't know, whatever. There's going to be sleepovers aplenty. Okay, so we got chronometers. I guess we got a bunch of these. I assume I have more or less infinite money. Okay, I don't have infinite money, but it's a lot of it's a lot of money. It's yeah. Oh, chronometers have to be wall based too. All right, we'll have at least a couple of chronometers in here. Cool, and it looks like you can. You can uh, buy and sell things freely while in kind of this planning stage. That's nice. This is probably good enough. That poor robot is going to be so busy. 
Well, that's okay. Alright, so we've got camera controls. Let's see. Oh, jump to pleasure deck. Bio deck. Technical deck. So this is how many aliens I have, aka none. There's seemingly no way to, um... Uh... Okay, here we go. There's seemingly no way to, uh... I kind of wish there's like a... I guess there's a true isometric mode, but boy is this disorienting. Because we hit the roof. Interesting. Alright, it works. I like how you can see things build. It's very, um... Oh, jeez. I'm trying to remember specifically what games kind of did it in this way. I want to say Total Annihilation kind of did this. I guess. But, like, not quite. I, I like how the, uh, the textures slowly fill in as it gets built. That's a nice... That is a... I, I don't know. It's a nice way of handling things. Oh, and the slumber pods just show up. Okay, that's cool. Well done. Right-click to continue on to the next lesson. Any room that requires furniture or equipment can have its contents expanded. To do this, right-click on the room itself. Okay. Left-click on the Edit Room button. Okay. Add furniture in exact same fashion as before. Once happy with your additional placements. Okay, here's the question. Doesn't look like it can make the room any bigger, though. So once we're like this, we're stuck. Okay. Opening up new segments. Simple lesson to open a new segment. Right click on either large bulkhead doors. A large button will appear, detailing the cost of occupying a new segment. Okay, so bulkhead doors. Left click on, on this button to confirm the command. This? No. This? No. Right click, oh, right click on the large bulkhead doors. Okay, so it's going to cost 10000 to open up a new segment. Now learn how to interact with aliens. Look around the station so you spot the gray alien that's wandering around. Right-click on him. Okay, oh, there he is. You now have its attention. This interface allows you to interact with the alien. Leave your cursor over each button to discover its purpose. Spend some time interacting with the little guy. To Close the interface, right click on this. There we go. Okay, so he's got mutilating cattle and poetry as his special interests. He's a model citizen. He's from Kill Cree, a novelty planet in the game system. And CV for application Kilboas. So he has no skill or dedication, but he's loyal, so we'll give him that. He's also got uh, some amount of stars. He's got 150 stars out of 27. Uh, as far as I can tell, he's a Taoist. Does this alien require redemption? Is this alien bored? Does this alien require love? Apparently not. Uh, does it require sanitation? Okay, so he needs to poop. Is he hungry? Okay, what's this? Oh, I can fire this alien. Wait, what's this? Hire this alien. Okay, he wants HP, gray, and I can't fire him. Gotcha. Well, we've done that. Congrats, now what? Okay. I I guess that's it. We're done. We've learned how to we've learned how to fire aliens. I don't know what to do with them, but I can fire them. This is good. Okay. Uh, cargo and trading. I could have totally skipped a tutorial there, I have no idea. Anyway, this will demonstrate how to place a cargo hold. One of two facilities in the game that must be placed next to a wall to function. Okay, this crate has a cargo hold. If I can open it up, nope, oh, there we go. Open the crate and click on the unpack icon. Uh, is it this? Oh. We gotta do it the other way. Okay. Blueprint for a cargo hold is now at your cursor. Place against the wall. Build a cargo hold. Okay, that's not where we're putting it. Uh, we'll just put it, like, right here. Ish. I'm trying to kind of center it just because I'm insane. I know, synergy is king. Not synergy, symmetry. Blah, words. Okay, yep. So let's build that cargo hold. 
I like it if he just teleports out of there. I guess collision uh, is easily handled if you do that. I'm actually really disappointed that there's no music uh, for a lot of this. I think there kind of is, but it's mostly like atmospheric. And I need something a little bit more active. Okay, there. Simple note on the building. Uh, now onto trading. We need to accept the message that just arrived. This will bring up the trade interface, items that you can buy on the left, items you can sell on the right. Experiment with buying and selling goods to the trader. Okay, accept this message to begin trading. Okay, so left to buy, right to sell, correct? Well, I have nothing I can buy. What's the double happiness? So, can I sell these for more? I have no idea. Okay. Well, we have bought and sold. Oh, what? Wait, what does this icon specifically mean? Okay, never mind. We've bought and sold goods. Congrats. So, I've done, th I've done that. I can now trade. We have these things. I have no idea what this is. What is this? This is hardware supplies. Okay. And it's now there. Can't unpack. Can I clear this? Can I... Okay, I've now put it back into this thing. Now what? Where's the trading interface gone? This is the letters. This is the this. Can I interact with this again? I think I might have broken the tutorial. Uh, this is usually on the disconcerting side. Whoops. And uh, we've taken away our robot. I guess you go over there. What's this thing? I don't know, it's a giant red block of cheese, which is probably concerning, but still. Are you the trader? How do I bring up the trading interface? Oh, wait. I see. So, I we get the uh, we get the trading thing occasionally. Uh, so I'll just buy the mineral ores. I assume the unhappy means I didn't make a profit. Okay, if you have a cargo hold, items that you have bought are placed here. Cargo left on the decks will eventually decay, so cargo hold is the preferred method of storing your goods. If the trade panel is active, right-click to remove it. To view the contents of the cargo hold, right-click on the cargo hold. Okay. There we go. Your items are stored in one of five categories. To view the contents of a category, left-click on the appropriate icon. To remove something from a category, left-click on the item. It will move to your pattern buffer. Okay, so we have no hard plan. We have a bunch of basic cargo, though. Cool. Except. Well, seeing as it, I think it wants me to do this, let's get rid of one food supply. Place an item into the cargo hold, either beam it onto the floor and wait for a scuzzer to collect it, or beam it directly onto the empty space. We already figured that one out, more or less. I mean, not exactly by accident, but still. Not intentionally. What's this? Return to the game avatar and choose a new mission. Uh, I think we're good. Okay, so there's some amount of, like, commodities, buying and trading. Looks like it's pretty simple, simplistic, though, but still. I am fine with that. Okay, biodeck basics. This tutorial allows you to learn how to modify the biodeck. Modifying land. Click on this icon. The cursor is now in land modify mode. Left click on the landscape to raise it. Right click on the landscape to lower it. Hold both both mouse buttons to flatten the landscape. Right click on this panel to continue. Modifying the water. Left click on this icon. The cursor is now in water modify mode. Click on the landscape to add water. Right click to remove it. Okay. So kind of basic TerraGen stuff. That's cool. It works. This is actually... I'm going to say pretty advanced for the times, which I think is actually pretty accurate. Can I, like, flood this whole place? Like, is there a maximum water level? Or can I make just, like, this crazy flooded bio deck? This bio deck will be nothing but fish! Fish! This is actually really cool. I like this. 
There will be what there will be water. I just I like how the audio changes the moment you leave. All right, I want to see if I can flood this. If I'm not going to be doing anything, can I like do this from here? The answer is no. Okay, so it looks like we cap out after a certain point. No, it's still going up. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, the fluid physics aren't exactly the greatest. But it works. Those poor butterflies. I wonder if they're all dead. I hope there's kind of a global reset for this or something. Because, boy, I, uh... I get the feeling my poor bio deck is going to be some serious fishy business after a couple of ill-advised, uh... Ill-advised... I'm not even going to say, like, missions or anything. I'm just going to be like, eh, let's just throw in a lot of water in here. Let's see what happens. Can th can these giraffes swim? Nope. Nope. Giraffes cannot swim. I am a monster. So, interestingly enough... Well, I guess it makes sense. You know, the water won't travel from one side to the other. Yeah, so, I'm just going to lower the water back down. Oh, hey, there are fish. No fish. Butterflies are back. So it looks like it just randomly comes in. So let's give it a little bit of water for the time being. Though, chances are we will be coming back here later. Here's a question. Can I... Oh, interesting. There are like broken, busted windows and stuff. This station has seen better days. So I guess what we can do is almost like switch between these. I don't know. Anyway, if I click to continue, same methods are used with the last two. Modify buttons. One adds or removes moisture from the soil. The other adjusts the temperature of the soil. Try them out. When ready, click on the panel. So, moisture to the soil. I see. So we can get, like, really green, almost like jungly stuff. Oops. That is slick. Okay, so we can get, like, a little savanna area over here if I want to. Or just make the gra grass look super dead. Alright, we've succeeded at whatever I was specifically aiming to do here. Okay, here's the question. What if I do it underneath the water? Okay. So, despite the fact that, you know, it's directly underneath water, we can dry out... Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, what's next? These buttons determine the strength or the size of the modify effect. Click the weakest effect to continue. I don't even know what button... Oh, I see. Click the strongest. If you adjust your landscape, you'll notice the changes are obvious. Right, click on the panel to continue. Yeah, so this is a pretty broad brush to work with. Let's kind of green it up a little bit. Wow, yeah, very broad brush. And interestingly enough, there's actually multiple textures depending on like uh, the elevation. So if we do, that's water. This is elevation, right? I can't tell what I've just... I can tell what I've just done. It looks very dumb. I should never be a like a, a, a omnipotent deity type character. Everything would just go poorly. We'd be like, eh, people can live on Everest, right? And the answer is no. Why would you ever? Okay, go away, water. You don't belong here. Okay, right click on the panel to continue. Revert to your normal cursor. It doesn't adjust the bio deck. Left click on this button. Okay. So it's a lock. And then I think we're done. Alright, so we've got one one tutorial left. I honestly feel like I've learned nothing. Uh, and that's why I'm, I guess I'm supposed to do the missions. Or something. Eventually we'll do sandbox and just everything will go poorly. Uh, let's see. Combat and conquest. This will demonstrate how to control your forces in, in a conflict. There are four alien types that will fight for you in the event of a conflict. Muster points are used to gather your forces prior to an attack. To place a muster point, place your cursor over an empty area of the deck and press and hold the right mouse button for a few seconds to click on this panel. Oh, right click on this panel. Okay, so if we just do muster point. Okay. To gather your forces around the muster point, left click on it. The more times you left click, the greater the importance of the muster point. 
The importance of a target determines the percentage of your force that will gather there. So if I have two... So this way we get... Oh, I see. And it's proportional. That's neat. Okay. To reduce the importance of a target, right-click on the target. If you reduce a muster point's important enough, it will disappear. So here's the question. Did the... Do the, does the number on the other one go up as I reduce? It does. Okay, so I guess we can have eight muster points overall, uh, but they'd have equal... That makes sense. It's pretty basic. Okay, play around with placing and removing muster points. If you have more than one, you wish to split your forces up. When ready to continue, right-click on this panel. We've already messed with that. Uh, some live target practice. Remember to target an enemy agent or item left click on it be sure to remove or any remove any muster points you have active right click on this panel so the muster points are like defensive areas and stuff this poor whomever it is oh I see so the spy has become the muster point now and I can set multiple targets with uh, comparable importance that makes sense I'd still th I think I'd still prefer controls closer like uh, StarCraft or whatever, but this works out. But like you can see their skeletons uh, when they're getting shot. That is very cartoony. But then again, this game is very cartoony. What the heck is this guy? I have no idea. It looks like uh, my guys have a fair amount of range too. It looks like it... Uh, my units don't specifically have different types of attacks. Everybody's just got more or less the basic blaster. Well, that's good to know. Oh! I can pick up their corpses and throw them in a corner somewhere. That's an interesting question. I'll just pile a bunch of corpses over here. Okay, that's another spy. I'm curious how much is it gonna matter. It takes a little bit for the importance of, like, uh, targeting him. Uh, like, triggers. Hopefully we don't- hopefully we don't have to worry about, like, uh, particularly, if, like, fast reflexes controlling my dudes. Okay, well, we're doing that. I- I don't know why, but I'm just gonna have a nice little tidy pile of bodies over in this direction. Looks like you can only have one corpse per, um... You can have only one corpse per tile, but like, I guess that's fine. That like really matters. What? Oops. Because we're running into conflicts or something. Or, I don't know. Whatever. My tidy pile of bodies is spread out a little bit. The travesty. What if we can harvest, uh, harvest uh, dead dudes for resources? Hey, what's this? One of my residents has died. You've been charged money to compensate the deceased. Aww. Okay, right click. Let's top your top up your forces once more. Learn about breaching segments. Now you can learn about taking over enemy segments. To take over a segment, you must first set your opponent as an enemy. To do this, bring up the station management panel. Okay. Left click on the overview button. Okay. Left click on the two opponent icons in the bottom right hand corner and set them to foe. So we've got one... Okay, so... Friend? Friend? Foe? Foe? 100% foe. Okay, right click to close down the management field. Good. You need a security scuzzer to breach a segment. A couple have been provided. Now right click on the bulkhead doors. You need to check both doors. Blue breach icon. Okay. Good. You need a security scuzzer to breach the segment. Click on the doors. Okay. Security scuzzer will now breach the lock. The message that has just appeared allows you to cancel a breach if you change your mind. If you accidentally confirm this message, 
You'll need to reinitialize the breach to continue the tutorial. Right click when ready. Once your security scuzzer has breached the doors, you have access to the new segment. To take control of the new segment, find the lock unit on the far side of the segment. It'll have red light above it. Oh, that cheese that I was talking about earlier. Right click on the lock to bring it uh, up the capture icon, left click it, and a secure, sir, uh, security scuzzer will get to work capturing the segment. I didn't realize this game would uh, have like a competitive segment to it. Okay. Well, that's fine. How long do we have to wait? I guess we have to wait for... Apparently breaching takes time. Well, I guess it makes sense kind of to punish you. And, you know, obviously, like, if we're trying to capture, it's probably going to take just as much time. Hey, I have no idea. We will find out. I am freezing. Oh, this is what happens when I get tired. This game seems really casual. Or potentially really hard, depending on how it works. Okay. I got that. Right click. Head over there. It doesn't look like we've got any foes around here. Can I do... Okay. So I can move the camera around with WASD. This is good. So my security scuzzers are going over in here and it doesn't look like there's any enemies. I'm trying to set a beacon. Okay, and it's left click to actually make people to go to it. I don't know if it matters to go to it, but still. Okay, now here's the question. Oh, yep, we do have another blinky cheese thing. So yeah, if we wanna if we wanna spread out a little bit, we're gonna have to start taking these corridors and stuff. That makes sense. Unfortunately, this is gonna take a while. Uh, one of the main game, I'll have so many other things that I'll I'll have to be doing that it, it shouldn't matter. Like, uh, there will be just, like, a bunch of other objectives, like feeding people, presumably, or building defenses. I have no idea. It's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm curious. I did not expect this game to actually have combat. Because I truly am going into this absolutely blind in every way, shape, and form. But, I mean, that's the way I like it. And some of you are probably going to be rather crabby about that. I don't know. waiting for this to go at this point because I think that'll end the tutorial okay someone has been completely dislodged from deck one well done now take over the next segment in the next fashion or the same fashion uh, oh okay so that gets rid of that banner of oh, the scuzzer unfortunately this is going to take sadly a lot of time and I don't think we're learning a whole lot here so unless something else pops up eh. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Let's let's cut ahead, see if something pops up. Otherwise, I'll just end the episode. Really depends on if there's more to learn from this tutorial. I just wish this sped up for this specific part. Because this is... Region progress. Gotcha. Yep. Alright, so this one actually has enemies. So let's actually fight them. Let's go with this guy. Let's turn this one off. There we go. We should be able to just... Plow through these guys pretty fast. Maybe? I have no idea. We outnumber them, mostly. I wonder if my guys will, like, automatically shoot at things. Okay, so it looks like it turns into just an out-and-out -out firefight. Oh, even my Scuzzer bots will fight, it looks like. I think. I have no idea. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on here. It's mostly just a mess of shots. It does look like there's a bit of... Oh, yep, my Scuzzer droids can... Uh, I can lose people. It looks like my Scuzzer droids running away. Let's move over here while we're at this. Let's start working on breaching that while the combat goes. Hopefully my scuzzer droids will go after that. Uh, but yeah, this is probably the end of the... This is the end of the tutorial. We've more or less learned how to play. It's, it's a neat game, and I'm looking forward to playing more. I could definitely see this actually being something really fun. If uh, somebody decided to remake this. And I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't seen anything similar in a while. I'm sure there are, there are management sims that are similar. I just honestly can't remember any of them. Oh, and that's okay too. But seeing as, you know, we've pretty much learned this tutorial, I can't imagine there's anything else. Why don't we call it quits for here? So I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, uh, Star Topia.
It's it's totally Startopia. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. Oh, and of course, before I forget, thank you, Funny Man, for sponsoring this series. I, uh, you know, it means a lot to me that uh, uh, you're supporting me, and it, uh, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I I I think I'm going to get a fair amount of enjoyment and hours of it, out of this game. I love uh, I love management sims. It's just I'm kind of picky about them. SimCity has never quite appealed to me. Uh, but this one looks like it's going to be really interesting. Uh, despite its age. Like, that's that's a pretty good sign, actually. Okay. And I guess, also, if any of you guys watching this want to sponsor a series in a similar way, uh, head on over to uh, my Patreon. Okay, we got it, right? Yes. Okay, we did get it. Yeah, head over to my Patreon, and you, you too can uh, sponsor any series you want. We're done, right? You, you don't want me to keep sponsoring. Okay, guess not. Yep, there's the victory. Huzzah! See you guys next time.